Hi, in this video, we will discuss about central finance architecture overview like what is source system, what is target system, what is LT server, how the replication will done, what is mapping, all these things we will discuss in this particular video. One deployment option is new implementation. One deployment option is conversion. Just now we completed the conversion. The third deployment option is the central finance one. Central finance, it's, it's applicable when we have a multiple landscapes are there or multiple systems are there. Then in that case, central finance landscape is applicable. Now in, imagine in the beginning what we discussed, we, we have one OLTP system and we have one OLAP system. So we have two different systems are there, one for your operation and one for your reporting. Now, once again, back to that. Let's say we have two or three different systems are there. So we have one SAP R3. We have one SAP ERP. Means it is SAP ECC, new GL enabled. Plus we have one non SAP system is there. Okay, multiple systems are there. Now for reporting purpose, we need here the BW system that in the beginning we discussed. Now how we will take the data? So from the source system, we are going to take the data regularly. So that is nothing but your ETL process. Now here we have to take the data regularly. We have to schedule the batch ups for extracting and transforming and loading the data. So this is nothing but your ETL. Now, what is the problem here? One is the time consuming process. Second one is different data model. Because here we are using the old structure without new GL. Here it is new GL enabled. Here it is not, not SAP, non SAP. So that's why your whatever the data we have, it's required high uh, transformation of your data, I mean data modeling and data reporting plus reconciliation. Huge reconciliations is required. So this is our area. Now what is the solution we have? Upgrade all the systems into S4 system or normal conversion. So far whatever we discussed. So you can convert this system as your S4 system, this one as your S4 HANA system and this your S4 HANA system so that all the system is going to share a common database that is your HANA database and uh, all the system is going to operate on this same database so that HANA is coming with embedded BW and it is going to go. But practically it is not possible because uh, this concept is applicable when companies they have 10 to 15 boxes are there, different landscapes are there. So it's not like immediately uh, all the systems are upgraded and it is available for your operation. Maybe it will take two to three years time, but requirement is we need a central reporting. So in that case, what we can do here? One option we can go for, we can go for upgrade individual systems. So which is practically not possible at a time. Now we, another option is we need to, uh, we will go for central finance approach. So in central finance approach, first of all, central finance is applicable when we have multiple systems are there. As I told here, it may be uh, one system is also possible. Uh, that is your uh, HANA system. Okay, let's say in one unit we have uh, quite possible, right? So if it is HANA system, then very less activity we need to perform. If other systems are there, then we have to do some further activities here. So we assume that maybe we have one system. It is already is your S4 system. That means now we can say here, like your central finance components are integrated. Okay, central finance component in integrated. If it is old system, let's say 4.7 or let's say uh, 4.6 system, then it's not 
<coughs> available immediately uh, for your mapping with this one with your central finance so that's why here we can say uh, some consulting activities are required okay so it is possible but for that some activities are there so consulting note is available for this one on your central finance okay so here let's say one more system is there I don't know whether you know this one or not. We have a very small SAP system is there. That is SAP B1 for small industries. We can consider both are same as same category. So one is your SAP B1 or non SAP same approach. So now this one both the same concept. So it can be integrated. staging tables in SLT we will see what is this SLT now what about this system okay so this system is possible like right now I have one system okay so can we use this one with central finance this is one AC system Can we use this one? Okay. No, it's not possible. So it's not like any EC system directly. We can link this one with our S4 system. So we have to do some activities. So that's why we are saying that here we have to add the central finance nodes. So that means <coughs> So we need to add here the central finance node should be implemented so the note number is two triple one six three four so in total if i will say we have different systems are there okay different different systems are there and we want all systems should be connected with your s4 system so to make it simple let's take one example so we have one sap system we have one non sap system okay and uh, we want everything should be under common place or we want a common reporting common consultation now either you are going to upgrade this system into s4 system this system into s4 system this is your sap erp and this is your non sap which is practically not possible as i told we have uh, 15 20 systems are there boxes are there so it is practically not possible we are going to upgrade all the systems at a time but management is also looking at consolidated reporting because already we understood so far like s4 system is very powerful system and we have all the features are available and we have something here that is your universal journal okay so they are very much impressed with this particular feature which is on your ana database now we need this one we have these systems this is two this may be 20 and everything should be connected with this one right now what we did we did the conversion that means the database upgraded and after that the old system becomes the new system but here we don't want to discard the old system old systems will be there in the operation and users are going to work in the old systems only so all the user activities will be performed in the old system only i mean in it may be sap it may be non sap so they are going to operate on on that system it may be a business one it may be xyz any application okay even one excel also that also we can consider as your source system then how it is possible so here we need <coughs> one middleware that is known as your slt LT server also we used to say is landscape transformation replication server SLT we are going to connect the source system okay source system with this SLT now when you are going to connect the source system it is 
we need to connect this this system is also having one database this system is also having one database so we are going to connect with this database with slt and this also with slt <coughs> But as I told, this system is not directly available for this connection. Once you will apply the required node or once the further consulting activities are done, like this one, it is not available. So once we, we the required consulting required or whatever the required activities once we will do, then only this system is available for SFT. And if your source system is S4HANA, it is also possible. So in that case, no need to do anything because we have our central finance components are there so if you go to your s4 system okay last time what i did uh, in ec system i tried with central finance one second let's see it's not working right it is ec system it's not working It's there central finance components are there so that means this one you can access through t code or in under your financial accounting it is there central finance is there so the nodes are available so without doing uh, without anything we can use this system as one of your source system but question is when we don't have uh, uh, s4 system so how we are going to manage this one for this we need the rfc connections Okay, so we need the RFC connection connecting with the source system with your SLT. So once you are going to apply the nodes, as I told, two triple one six three four. Suppose once you applied the node, so this nodes is going to convert the source system as central finance enabled system to transfer the data from ECC to S4 system. Once it is done, then after that we can connect this system with your landscape with your SLT. Now, with a normal S4 system, it is not possible to connect because it is a normal S4 system like what we have. We need here additional license. So we need here additional license like <coughs> central finance license, you can say, CFIN license. Further, some activities we have to do. Central Finance Accounting Interface. So RFC connection from the ERP to SLT? ERP to SLT and SLT to your Central Finance. Okay. This source to SLT and SLT to Central Finance. business mapping okay so these are the activities we have so one is your central finance accounting interface then we have uh, business mapping then we have error management error correction because when uh, user is going to post one document in ec system so we are expecting that the same document will reflect in the s4 system but let's say it's not reflecting then we need to know the reason we need to analyze this error so that's why here we need one more tool that is known as your aif tool so through this aif tool it is just a message box you can say where we are going to have a detailed information right and related to that error so this will be your system landscape when you will go for central finance so we have these source systems will be there then we have SLT system will be there, S4 system will be there, and on S4 system, we need the central finance license will be there. Okay, so uh, let me quickly show you these systems, then uh, tomorrow we will see in more detail. What are the systems we have? Okay, in this system, in here it is not going to work.
so one system is my ec system this we will consider as our source system so this will be our ec system so how can say it is ec system you can see this is the esp8 system right so this is my server sql server operating system check it's <clears throat> okay so it hp8 system so this we will take as our target oh, sorry source system now last time when we checked with the other system it was not working can we check here if whether it is applicable whether this system can be possible can be connected with your slt or not yeah it's working that means here we have a some nodes are there there are other ways also there we can check those we will see in detail so it is possible this this ec system can be connected with slt and if you we'll check you will find a normal ec system only where additional nodes are applied it's normal ec system where we have all the basic nodes are there where we can perform all your normal ecc activities this is one system plus we need here one more system that is your slt now this slt may be a separate box or it may be can be connected on the true finance i mean uh, s4 system or it can be also connected in ec system so it is it, sap is recommending that um, you can take this one as individual system and we have advantage for this that also we will see so this is option a so you can take like this slt individual system or you can take slt on s4 system or slt on ec system so anywhere it is possible so everyone having their own advantage and disadvantage are there <clears throat> so in my case the ecc is uh, i mean this slt is installed on ec system so let's check that one so it is nothing but your you can say migration cockpit something uh, but this is your lt server connecting the source system with your target system so this is one system we have this is this is the area we are not going to work just for your understanding i'm showing this one it is not our area so here this lt server is defined or it is connected and here we have some interfaces which be there that we will see tomorrow so it is running perfectly and this is your lt configuration slt is not only available for the central finance migration it can be also used for a different purpose so here some other migrations or activities are there i don't know but it can be possible we can use this one for other migrations as well so this is my second system or you can say source system then middleware then we will have a target system so target system is nothing but your as usual your s4 system okay so this is our s4 system where which we commonly we are using so when we will have this environment so now we can perform the central finance so why we have certain benefits are there for the central finance why we will go for central finance approach okay first of all central finance is applicable when companies uh, multiple landscapes are there big companies it's not like any small company they will go for central finance deployment when they have multiple operations are there with different different boxes and it is practically not possible immediately they are going to upgrade all system into s4 system but target is your s4 because here we can have all the better uh, performance and uh, <clears throat> all these uh, benefits are there so that's why we need a s4 system with uh, additional license as central finance we need to activate certain business functions then we are going to with this landscape you can this can be anything this may be 2 or maybe 20 or anything then we can continue this one so this one you will see this is a normal your s4 configuration so whatever we did so far this will be as usual this that's it this is your ec system which already we have it and this may be another system then additional activities in the migrations we have to do this one 
this is additional work history first of all why we need it is going to provide you the faster closing because different systems they have different uh, uh, landscapes so that's why it is practically not possible immediately you will upgrade but we need a consolidated report so which is not practically possible without central finance so that is why we need the central finance already we discussed or we have seen how profitability analysis is simplified in S in ECC you know how it is difficult we have to depend on value fields here we don't need value fields so it is uh, in ECC it is too complicated that most of the time the company they don't go for this profitability analysis on ECC costing based COPA but here it is very sim simple and uh, everything is related to only finance we don't have any value fields with very basic settings we can operate here the profitability analysis and that to account based copa so that's why we we uh, that time we discussed like in s4 hana account based copa is required and we used it so with account based copa we have the same report and with same features same functionalities whatever earlier we had in costing based copa and that too with a very basic settings very minimum configurations and now our finance report is similar to our copa report or copa report is similar to our finance report because in finance we are looking here the informations uh, related to your gl account here also we are looking the gl accounts we don't have the value fields so that is another benefit secondly it is going to help us in group reporting the major advantage is uh, in case of merger and acquisition for example right now you have two boxes or two operations where uh, you are using let's say s4 system or maybe ecc different system then you new acquisition is there so due to this new acquisition we want to bring those data in our central reporting in consolidated reporting but again we need to upgrade that system into hana system or maybe they are not operating on S uh, sap itself so that's why in that case uh, without doing anything you just connect that system with your s4 system or central finance system so acquisition will be very easy right then we have uh, intercompany reconciliations that also going to be help help us so here first of all here we need a consolidated reporting without disturbing our existing system normally what we are we have we have a, this is our system existing system okay so this is our database and this database is any database i'm talking about the oltp system so this database is any database and uh, here we are going to post different transactions so when we are going to post different transactions so here we are going to post data fading or the transaction so all these transactions are going to store here so this is nothing but your oltp system then if we need a reporting and like this if we have multiple systems and different different um, landscape here somewhere we are using ecc somewhere non-sap somewhere let's say ecc 4.7 or r3 so in that case everything uh, we can take a bw system and regularly we have to extract the data so we know already what are the pain there instead of that now we are going to take the middleware that is your slt okay so this will be your lt server or <coughs> system landscape transmission now you connect this one with your slt system through rfc connection we will see that so once the transaction will be posted here in the source system then automatically it is connected with your slt then through slt we are going to have the uh, we can transfer this data to S4 system. So if we will see one CFIN architecture, okay, I have taken some sc screenshots you can see here. So this will be your uh, one SAP system. Okay, so this is your SAP system with a database. This is your database. And uh, this one is your SAP ERP. SAP ERP means it is ECC 6. 
here may be possible that we will have one r3 system as well with one database then this is one non sap system here also we have some finance and uh, controlling documents are there here also we have finance controlling documents are there now both the systems or all three four systems everything we are going to connect with this slt right system landscape transpiration uh, replication server so everything now you can see you must notice here we are not connecting application to the slt its database connection is there see database connection application is not connected its database we are connecting and this is nothing but your s4 system so this is the normal s4 system what we have or what we have uh, seen in detail now on this s4 system we have universal journal ac doc is there on that we will have uh, additional license that is your central finance license will be there here some multiple other tools will be there so we need to add here further configure this is your normal configuration then uh, um, here we have to do additional configurations like central finance accounting interface then we have to do the business mapping error analysis now uh, <clears throat> how many systems is required in, in as your source system multiple so the source system may be ecc may not be i mean uh, with new gl or without new gl or this one may be non sap also so many systems are expected here i don't think anyone having with just two systems they will go for central finance so it may be anything so like uh, uh, seven eight systems or maybe multiple landscape will be there but their requirement is everything should be transferred to your s4 system through this central finance so this will be your central finance architecture source system as i told it can be anything but it's not like we have ac system and we will try to connect this one okay so it is it is not possible for example we have uh, this ec system no, not this one no no logistic only accounting it's central finance so only finance data we are going to take so let's say uh, for example it's a complete p2p cycle right so you have uh, uh, purchase order is there you have gr is there so only we are going to consider the finance part because this system we are not going to take as a erp system this one our purpose is the reporting so that's why we are looking here all the finance data should be included in this system that is the main purpose now this is one ec system i'm sorry it's taking time okay so this system is not immediately available for your central finance mapping right so if i will try to get the node here so you can see nothing is there so that means any ec system directly you can't use as your uh, source system for your central finance until unless the required activities uh, are we are going to complete until unless we have not completed the required consultation or required uh, um, nodes like in this case we need to add the two triple one six three four so that node is required if it is a old system then we need to add the further configuration similarly if it is non sap system then we have to do the um, we need to integrate through the interface and staging table so further activities will be there when we are going to connect any system as your central finance system so that is also required so how many systems are required here minimum three systems are required i mean three type of systems are required so one is your source system one is your slt and one is your target system so this many systems are required so how it is going to work first of all the data should be like we are going to take the data from here the source system it will be connected through slt 
and from SLT it is going to transfer the data to this one it, but it's not like any extraction of the data it's not like we are going to extract the data and we will load it this data once again so here it is real-time posting as and when any transaction any document will be posted so immediately the document is available in your s4 system i will show you one document also okay and if any data is added or let's say updated something in the source system itself then it is also detect in your uh, or slt is going to detect it so <clears throat> it is also known as your application based replication application based replication means as soon as any document is posted in the source system okay it is going to update in your target system immediately without any delay and it is real time posting okay so all slt or this sap lt server this is known as your trigger based application trigger based means it's immediately something happened here and it is going to update in your s4 system without any de delay and in real time so these many systems are required here so one system will be your source system and source system can be one sap system or it can be a non sap system Source system can be also one S4 system also. Okay, so same diagram we will see in system. So we have one, this one I don't have non SAP system, but you just imagine one non SAP system is also possible. Here uh, we have to map it through staging table. It is not that easy if we have a SAP system. So we will take one EC system, this one and this one and this one all together you can say it is one system so on s4 system we have the central finance licenses there Okay, so this is nothing but a normal ECC system along with the required nodes are added or it is we can say it is enabled for central finance purpose or to connect as source system as central finance. otherwise it is a normal SAP ECC system right so it is one SAP EC system where we have uh, this is the database and uh, we are using Windows 8 I'm sorry uh, um, your EHP 8 we are using but if can I get the node here central finance node last time we tried with the other system now check here yeah it's possible we are getting here central finance source system settings and it is very important we should know the logic uh, we should define we should get the logic system Okay, this you just remember this one EPX CLNT 800. So this is our logical system as we, which we are going to use as your central finance source system or normal system which can be connected as with your SLT as source system. So this is one system. Another system will be SLT. See SLT can be one independent system or it can be uh, you can add that SLT on any of the system. Okay, for example, we are going to deploy SLT as no normal independent system. Like one option, you can take SLT like this, sidecar approach, you can take SLT as independent system or SLT you can also add here on EC system, I mean on uh, 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 source system or SLT can be added on this one. So this SLT tool can be added with any of the tool. Okay, so SAP is recommending that you should take the SLT 
as your independent system rather than using this one with any other system what is the advantage and what is the disadvantage let's talk about the advantage if we are going to take slt as your separate system which sap is recommending that means uh, without any disturbance okay so we can we can connect n number of additional source systems that we can integrate without disturbing your existing structure or with without uh, disturbing your existing source system with your central spinal system because this is a standard system this is independent system so you can add a number of source system if any upgradation will be there okay if any upgradation with your source system assume that this is your slt okay so this is your slt and this is your source system we are going to upgrade something here so definitely it is going to impact slt also so if you are going to take slt as your source system a separate system so it does not going to affect with your normal upgradation process if you are going to do the at your source system so it's not like cent only for the central finance we are going to use slt slt can be also uh, used for any different purpose for any like i told you logistic is not possible logistic is not possible only through this central finance option but we can take the logistic data to the s4 system also but not th through this process in that case also we can use slt so that is it is a good option use the slt as separate system this these are the advantages and which sap is recommending now what is the disadvantage now if you are going to take slt as your separate system so it does not have any direct access to any of the system it's an independent system so that's why we don't have access to this system we don't have access to this system i mean uh, there is no direct access so if connectivity is not there then it can't be used anywhere so that is you can say in this way um, you can say it is the disadvantage does not have any direct access with your source system or your target system or your central finance right so that is that also you can say but it is not a valid logic i don't think but yes it could be one reason so slt should be independent system so that is the major advantage we found here if we are going to add slt on your source system then which already i told you so it is a direct access on source system so without internet connection or without if no network is there still we can access because slt is on top of your ec system so that is uh, the benefit you can say but disadvantage if multiple source systems are there then how we are going to manage right so that is why always it is good option take slt as your independent system if you are going to take slt on central finance system the same then we can have a direct access on central finance system and uh, um, what is the disadvantage bad performance slt is worst performance or bad performance going to impact your s4 system in s4 we have other activities are also there so that's why always it is recommend as take slt as your source system now let's check that one in my case it is there on your ec system so we are going to check it it is not recommended but it's there if i will click here okay and who is responsible for slt we are not it's complete technical work so technical people or slt consultant they are going to handle it now if we'll click here you can see three activities are there or three sub nodes are there these are nothing but your tables okay so we have one table is there that is for aufk aufk another one is your cobk and another one is your cfin underscore acc hd ufk cobk cfin underscore acc hd so far we know there are type of postings one posting is your fi posting fi posting with cost object another one is your co internal postings where we are using secondary cost element like your allocations distribution period and distribution whatever we have completed this many 
type of postings we know here we are going to merge fi as well as FICO postings. That means when we are saying that it is FICO postings, that means your normal FI posting without cost object and FI posting with cost object. So that is your FICO posting. So uh, when we are saying that it is secondary postings, that means it is only controlling posting. So when we are saying that it is CO posting, that does not that does not include a normal FI posting with cost object posting. It is a no CO postings where we are using secondary secondary cost element. So this is your it's CO postings. Or reference you can take this one as secondary posting then what about the FICO posting FICO posting where you will find the data when we have FICO posting we have uh, multiple tables are there right so we have uh, uh, BSEC table is there we have BKS PFT table is there we have uh, uh, BSID table is there so many so many tables we have in the uh, finance segment so that's why it is practically not possible as in FI we have n number of tables are there so we can't pull all the data from different different table so that's why here we will apply the note and that is why we applied the note in the source system and uh, in your uh, uh, SLT these tables are created so CFIN ACC HD that is your header part and CFIN underscore ACC IT so if I'm going to post a finance posting maybe you, you think that it is there in normal case it is there in your BSEC but here it will be there in your basic but it will be central finance point of view you are going to or system is going to add the data in this particular table here you will find header data and line item data because it is practically not possible to take the data from so many tables in the finance in fi we have so many tables are there here you have only one table like we are going to take the data from cobk it is possible but here it is not possible what about this aufk we have certain cost objects are there so the cost object purpose we have these tables are there okay so these tables may be new for you but these are the tables should be there in your slt so that we can under this mass id if you'll check here one mass id is there under this mass id these tables should be mapped or should be created and it will be uh, created by your technical consultant so aufk for cost object posting COBK for your secondary posting like assessment or where we have the internal CO documents are generated and this is for your Finance posting. It's not only finance posting. It is for FICO postings So why these staging tables are there because in ECC system we have so many tables are there in S4 it is only one table But in ECC we have so many tables are there. So that is why it is practically not possible the mapping so that means we can say the staging areas are used to connect various legacy systems that have different data models in a SAP central finance system. Okay, so these are the uh, new tables you will find in your source system or in your LT system. Now, what about the non SAP system? We have a source system if it is non SAP system, then system uh, they are also we need to create the staging tables like what informations you will find your header data accounting header data okay slash one lt c fin header slash one this table staging tables in LT system if connected with the non SAP system as your source system then item both are similar tables only some tables if your source system is I mean SAP some these tables are if your source system is non SAP then we have debit data
credit data. Then your tax. Withholding tax. This is your tax on sale purchase and this is your withholding tax. So like this we have to create I mean technical consultant they are going to create this many staging tables or these internal tables they are going to create in your LT system. Example this one. So we have uh, back to diagram. So you have source system already we know this system then we have a LT system. So this is your LT system. Okay, we have this many documents we are going to take so we are going to take all the accounting document We are going to when I'm saying accounting accounting with cost object Then we are going to take all the FICO documents We are going to take all the internal documents CO internal document and we are going to take any uh, Cost object document so in this list we don't have any logistic documents or we have not created anything for this one Then Suppose I am posting one transaction. Okay, and one more important thing. We are not going to post any document here If it is a central finance system, we are not going to post any document users are going to work as usual in this system itself Okay, and the data will be transferred to Your central finance central finance system is nothing but your s4 system now, now coming to data flow in central finance via SLT so so far we understood what is our source system what is SLT and what is the target system that is our S4 system or you can say central finance system now uh, as I told here we have multiple tables are there in the finance so that's why we are going to have some staging tables are there for cost object we will have uh, a UFK in a LT server for uh, internal posting secondary costing uh, secondary posting co postings for that we have cobk and you can see here the direct relation like aufk will be transferred to your like you can see this uh, arrow mark aufk is linked with your co internal postings then you have uh, your uh, secondary postings that is your like your uh, internal postings in controlling so those are linked with your CO internal postings, but when we are talking about the finance posting particularly FICO posting with finance uh, Only finance posting or with cost object FICO posting. We don't have any specific tables are there So that's why here we will have the central finance staging tables will be there You can see here cfin underscore ACC HD cfin underscore ACC IT that means header table and line item table and that we are going to uh, connect with our FICO postings. Okay, so it's not from BKPF or BSEC. It is from the staging table So when we will get this table once the applied uh, the nodes will be applied in your source system or Interface will be done then only it will be mapped with your source system uh, then it is available on your uh, source system uh, a normal ECC system is not capable of having these tables. Okay, so let's check this one in the system itself. So this is my So this is my ECC system, right? So here we are going to check those so if I will go to the package then I can verify those tables I know these tables are there in the system. Let's verify those so if we'll go to the package if you have the access to this ABAP workbench, then we can see here. So this is your package and the package is your central finance integration, right? And we need to check those tables, those header tables and the line item tables, particularly for the finance posting. So those tables you can see here. If we go to here, okay, and the database table. So here we have all these tables are there. So uh, like we are talking about this header table. So it is there, the line item tables. So it is here. So all these new tables are available under this uh, package in a normal EC system these tables are not there once the applied nodes will be applied then only these tables will be available then we can continue with our mapping so this is your source this is your LT and this is your target system so from this uh, through this uh, uh, LT server or through these tables you can say interface the mapping will be done now suppose some errors are there some documents failed or something happened so in that case how we will get the intimation and how we will analyze the data okay so for that purpose we have one more system is also there you can see here error connection 
this is another tool which is your AIF tip accounting interface framework so who is the person who is responsible for this work so their job is they will analyze these errors and if something is uh, like for example user is posting a transaction the document is posted here but it is not flowing to here the document is available here but it is not coming here let's say cost center is blocked during mapping so in that case uh, just they need to unblock it and the document will flow if something technical then it will come to the technique uh, i mean the consultant functional consultant or technical consultant but at least we should know the reason why these errors happen so that's why we have one more tool is there that is your aif tool that is also additionally required okay so <clears throat> let's check that also yes once you will resolve it and we will restart it automatically the document will be posted i mean document is already posted only the flow okay right so here we can see that one so this is nothing but your normal s4 system this is your s4 system but it's not a normal s4 system i mean you can say it's a s4 system but here the required uh, business function is activated so that's why it it can be treated as your central finance system also so if you go to business function It's taking time. So that means we are going to replicate FICO documents, replication of FICO documents, repl replication of CO documents, which are nothing but your secondary postings and cost object replication. So here make sure that the central finance business function must be activated okay just check this one finance underscore cfin okay is it activated yes so that means this system can be used as your target system so as i told here we for error and this is purpose we need one more system as well so that you can see here this AIF tool is integrated with this system so it is One second, please. Here only. Okay, let me try again. <clears throat> Okay, interface monitor. So this is one system. So you can see here interface monitor. Okay, so here if any errors are there, suppose I want to see uh, errors in last, uh, let's say five days. Just uh, check here. Okay, you will get, I want to see here the error from this date selected date range here. First of all, my user ID should be authorized. Then only I will get the error. Okay, so all these configurations is required. We need to do that. Then only it is available. If it is not authorized, then I am not responsible for this one. Let's say I'm a normal user. I don't have access to interface monitor. So I will not get any message. But the person who is authorized, they are only going to get this message or the, this, uh, I mean, this ma mails or this uh, messages they can see here. Okay, so I want to check the date 
from this state to this state. Okay, so these are the different uh, documents are there and here you can see it seems like everything is correct. No errors are there. Okay, let's do one thing. We can refresh it and we will see any error if is there or not. Now you can see some errors are there. Okay, these are the errors. like so this is your uh, errors related to accounting document. This is the standard one. This one may be uh, the technical consultant they created it so error related to accounting document error related to co documents co postings and error related to cost object so here we can see the details about these errors suppose i will click here Let's check some other data. Okay, this is one document posted. So here some errors are there, right? So order this one is not does not exist. Where does not exist? Maybe initially in source system it is there, but in target system it is not there, or maybe not mapped in target system it's not mapped maybe so cost center something it does not exist so here you are going to get the exact message and accordingly we need to let's say i'm the person who is responsible for this error handling so i will check this one i will need to um, ask the person who is responsible for this one maybe the user to correct it or if it is related to configuration then i will ask the consultant to complete map mapping then after that once it is resolved i will just restart it and automatically that will be posted so this is one tool just like your mailbox where you are going to get all the details related to errors so this is also another tool is required for your error analysis here we are just going to do the error analysis so in next video we will see one practical posting we will post one document in ec system and we will check that in the s4 system so we will have uh, uh, two company codes both in two different system we will practically we will post one document here so that document anything it may be gl it may be arip maybe asset anything so we can post that document here in ec system and we will check that document in the s4 system so that we will see in the next video